hey, what's up? Brewing Feed here. I am here with the Cuisinart Griddler Deluxe GR150 Series. Um, I'm going to be making pancakes with this, but you can do a lot with it. Um, if you've watched my videos, you know I love kitchen gadgets, and this kitchen gadget is very flexible. Um, it is a panini press. As you can see by the grills there. You can press paninis, make other sandwiches, any grilled sandwiches, Cuban sandwiches. Um, you can also remove these plates and flip it over and it turns into a flat griddle. And that flat griddle can be used to make pancakes, bacon, eggs. Um, and as you can see, it's got two sides to it. So what you do is you flip this little switch here and now you got a double griddle. So it's got a lot of surface area, folds up neat, easy, folds up neat so you can put it away in storage. And both of these flip over. It makes it easy to clean these because when you're done, you can wipe them down and throw them in the dishwasher or wash them by hand, whatever you prefer. And what I have here now is a flat griddle that's, that's, that's flattened out. And now I can make pancakes on this side and bacon and eggs on this side or sausage. Um, you can go crazy with it. Um, you can also flat press with this, so you can take this back and flat press um, without the griddle part. Um, so that's the that's the Cuisinart series uh, GR150 series griddler deluxe. The first key in the making great pancakes is getting the griddle at the right temperature. You don't want it to be too hot. You don't want it to be too cold. Uh, so I turned my, I got the temperature on here to about midway. This thing goes up to 450. I got it, I got it at 250 right now. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drop some water on there. And if that water is dancing too much, like it is right now, um, I am going to turn the temperature down because I want it to just slow. I want it to, I want it to, I want the water to bubble, but I don't want it to evaporate and dance off the off the griddle like it's doing right now. So I'm gonna turn this down a little bit and see um, if I can get the temperature just right. Cause I want it just hot enough to cook the, cook the um, pancakes, but I don't, wanna, I don't wanna burn my pancakes as I cook them. The next step in getting your pancakes right is to take the butter and put it on the griddle. Um, and you don't want your butter to burn or scorch. You also don't need to leave the butter on the grill. Get the butter on there and wipe it off. Basically what you're doing is you're um, helping your non-stick skillet not be more non-stick. So you're just putting an, a, la a layer of butter on there, let it sit, and then wipe it off. That's all you need to do uh, to make a perfect pancake. Next, with the temperature at, half, at, a, at a medium temperature um, and your, your, your griddle buttered and wiped down, uh, you want to go ahead and pour uh, your pancake mix onto the griddle. Now, I didn't, I didn't use, I didn't make this pancake mix from scratch. Maybe I'll do another video on how to do that. Um, you can just take any of your favorite pancake mix. Here I'm using a buttermilk pancake mix uh, that has eggs um, and a little bit of uh, vegetable oil. And I use almond milk, but you can use water, regular milk. Um, so essentially, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to wait for these pancakes to start to bubble. And basically, what will happen is you'll get bubbles all throughout the surface of the pancake that tells you that it's cooking on the bottom. Um, they don't need to cook fast. They don't need to be burnt. Um, you want, basically, you're cooking this, this dough mix, for lack of a better term, to make sure that it, it cooks through and it rises and that you don't have a pancake that's overcooked or too doughy in the middle. Uh, you want it to be to absorb the pancake mix. Um, and you also don't want your pancakes to be burnt. Um, I see a lot of people make pancakes that are burnt. So we're gonna let these cook um, and then we're gonna flip them over and that'll be our next step. So The way you're gonna know when these are done is they're gonna get soft on the top. Um, I guess the heat, of the vapor or the heat or the steam is gonna steam up and soften them. And as you touch them, if they don't spring back, then they're, they're not done. If, if that means that's basically means it's too doughy on the inside. Uh, so you let them cook until they soften up on the top and then when you, when you touch them,
they bounce back like a spring, like a sponge. And that's how I make pancakes. Uh, brew strong and feed well.